In today's video, I'm going to be going over one of the best arm pieces that you can use that is very underrated and is better than Necron helmets, better than most other helmets in the game, and cheaper than them as well. If you guys know today's video, subscribe, it's in the world to me. I do have a giveaway going on in today's video. All you have to do to participate is comment your IGN, and, and with the IGN, you must also comment a code word, which you will find at some point throughout the video. No cheating. Left. And subscribe. That's all you gotta do. I'll roll after seven days, but you must be subscribed. There is a way I can tell. There's an icon that pops up on YouTube Studios that I can tell by, right? So, the set I'm gonna, or the piece I'm gonna be going over is honestly super underrated. It can fit and fill the place of most helmets. It can, it's of almost all helmets in the game, and it's so much cheaper. Now, Derpy's up as I'm recording this. So I'm not going to be able to show prices, but I can show the cost of the craft. The helmet I'm going to be going over is Tarantula Helmet. And it's better than Necron Helmet. It's better, arguably, than Storm Helmet if you have the right stuff on it. It is very, very good. First off, what are its stats? So its stats are kind of lacking comparatively to Wither, like a Necron Helmet. However, it still does more damage. So stats, it is pretty much less of everything by a small amount. Nothing really major. It has like 20 less of everything, except it has 70 more intelligence. However, the part that kicks in is the extra bonus of radioactivity. Gain 1 crit damage for 10 strength. Max of 1000 strength, meaning this has 100 extra crit damage which makes up for it and makes it better. Now how much does this actually cost to buy? So, if we go and look, it is a crafting recipe in the Slayer Collection. It is right here. And all you need is two enchanted iron, two stacks of enchanted iron, and three tarantula silk. That is very, very easy to actually get. It costs you 160,000 coins and like 300,000 coins. It costs you like 450,000 coins to craft up a helmet. Now, yes, 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 because I'm comparing, these have to be about even. I'm only be comparing the damage stats. Then, all you need to do to make it the same damage comparison for Necron is recombobulate it okay yeah, so it'll cost you 6 million coins so right with 6.5 million coins and then you put on ancient which costs 500k so it'll cost you about 6.5 million coins for that helmet i have now this is excluding hot potato bucks wisdom and the skin which makes it worth a lot more it's also i see better in dungeons than most of their helmets you only need i think i forget the cat level i want to say it's like 26 27 28 somewhere in that range because even if you get like a fully maxed out helmet with recoms and all that good stuff for damage already costs less than a base clean wither helmet then putting stars on it it's cheaper because it's spider essence it, so it just it just overall a lot cheaper and a lot better so let's test the damage first off i'm going to be using a constant because i'm gonna be using flower truth now i have a baby yeti pet on right now but i'm just going to use lion pet for the sake of it right now with Emerald Blade, I'm doing like 800k, but that's inconsistent, so I'm going to be using Flower Truth, where I do 169.3 with the Wither Helmet. Take that off, put Torrential Helm on, now doing 177k, an extra about 12k damage, and once again, it's already cheaper. It's cheaper than Wither Helmet, and we're doing more damage with it, right? Now this also can be very useful if you are, this also could potentially be used if you are a left click mage, because it does have some intelligence. It has a 100 intelligence base, and if you put other stuff on it, that intelligence gets buffed and, you know, buffed and buffed and buffed and buffed and buffed. But it has pretty good intelligence, so it's, honestly, it's a great hybrid for pretty much any class, including mage. If you're looking for that extra little bit of damage for mage, I recommend it. Yeah, you're losing some intelligence. Maybe you want to use with a helmet instead. Uh, by the way, code word for today's video is going to um, be subscribe. Yeah, no one's ever going to guess that, right? Right, chat? I recommend using this for any piece. This includes Shadow Assassin. I might not be able to use it in dungeons, which is a shame. But it's also still about the same cost as a Shadow Assassin helmet. I mean, if you don't recom, it's a lot cheaper. Without the recom, it's still better than a Shadow Assassin helmet. Like, if you just have a normal Tara helmet and put Ancient on it, it's still better than Shadow Assassin helmet. So I, 
over Shadow Assassin, over Frozen Blaze, over whatever, this is a very good helmet to have and just use. Outside, doing anything outside, even if you and even and you can start having it for dungeons is good because it works with all floors. I just recommend getting this helmet. That's the one issue, but overall, I do highly, highly recommend getting this helmet. Inside and outside dungeons, overall, it is a very, very good idea to get. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys next one. Love you. Peace.